My name is Carrie Beaulieu, and I work here at AppFluence. We are the team behind Priority Matrix, which is a priority management software that helps managers get better visibility of what their team is working on and increase accountability. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that is um, particularly relevant to architecture firms, which is actually how to manage when you have multiple principles. And related to that, teaching your team to work on the right thing. So to start off, um, before we want to dive, before we dive in today, I want to dig a little bit deeper into this topic of what is a matrix organization and why do we end up in a situation where there are multiple people managing the same workforce. And more or less, the definition of a matrix organization is an organizational structure where the reporting relationships are set up as a grid or a matrix. So you can think of an organization like this as you know, maybe you are the manager of a certain project, but there's also a design manager who's in charge of the team. But this can also look like a situation where there are two principals, each managing their own project, and the workforce is split between them. So in this case, it wouldn't be a perfect matrix, but rather, you know, diagonal lines pointing upwards towards each of the managers. And organizations that like this were eventually or this word was actually coined in the 1950s and 1960s by NASA, who had such a complex structure and so many complex needs for their projects that they had to reorganize the way that they managed. And then naturally as an evolution of that, um, this kind of spread into the construction and architecture space as well. And in 2015, based on a Gallup poll, 84% of people they surveyed in businesses across the country actually said that they worked in matrix teams to some extent. So this is definitely not something that is limited to the architecture space. However, within that industry, it's extremely normal for people to be reporting to, you know, one or more principals in their firm. And it's very normal for principals to actually run into a situation where they're not sure where their workforce stands because there are so many other people who are also, you know, giving orders to the same team. Recently, I talked to an architecture firm that had four principals, and the biggest challenge that they were up against was that they weren't sure how to communicate to their team what the highest priority project was. And based on the fact that each of the four principals felt that their project was the most important, their team was also really confused as well when it came to deciding what to work on and using their time effectively. And so again, coming back to this, um, Principles and architecture firms share resources, which inevitably leads to situations like this. So when you start a project, you probably have a timeline in mind or a vision in mind for that project that's going to be perfect. And then you take it to your team and they take on the work for the project. However, it seems like there's always, you know, some point during the project where another principal steps in with an urgent request from their project owner and needs somebody from your team to carry it out. And so then this project that you're working on can fall behind due to a factor outside of your control. And I have down here written, you know, take a deep breath because this is just an example, but this is such a normal situation that it can get really frustrating. And this is due to unique challenges that are posed when you're working in an organization like the ones that we just talked about, especially a firm with multiple principles. So, the reason that these things happen, you know, your project falling behind due to a factor outside of your control or a situation where there are three managers delegating down to a team is because of challenges with accountability. So accountability is actually a deeper topic that we're going to delve into. We can't just cover it in, you know, one slide or one bullet point here. Prioritization or tasks that are competing with each other. Focus, which is related to prioritization in the way that when your team knows how to prioritize, their focus will be drawn to the right things. And then finally, deadlines and coordination. 